What is going on, peeps? Destro here, and we are playing some Last of Us Remastered, the multiplayer version of the Last of Us Remastered. This is the Factions section, and this is Supply Raid on the map Coal Mine. I'm playing with my homeboy, fellow Team Z member Super Soldier, and I believe I am using the fully auto rifle in this game. I learned very early on that uh, this was the gun to use in The Last of Us Remastered. On the PS3 version of The Last of Us, the gun to use was the semi-auto uh, rifle suppressed. When you got that and you got the damage boost in match, that was pretty much the gun to use. It was, you know, very easy to just run roughshod over everybody. But I went into The Last of Us Remastered and was using uh, the semi-auto silenced and got the damage boost and things like that. But uh, I was still just not performing up to what I feel are my standards. And um, I switched to the fully auto rifle and I was able to actually get the downs and get the kills and the executions much easier uh, than I was when I was using like the the, the uh, semi-auto and I uh, started to use a little bit of the sniper rifle which was fun to use and uh, the bow was always fun to use as well so uh, right now my kind of go-to's are this fully auto rifle uh, with the enforcer pistol and maybe like my second go-to is the hunting rifle with uh, the enforcer pistol two very good uh, good uh, classes to go to if uh, if you're kind of struggling with the multiplayer of The Last of Us. I really had to get reaccustomed to everything when it came to The Last of Us. I was coming off of games like Battlefield 4 and playing the Destiny beta and games that you can kind of go off on your own and, and kind of lone wolf different areas and still get the kills and be successful. But uh, with, the, with The Last of Us, you have to keep in mind that this is a survival video game um, and doing things like that, going off on your own, just is not going to be... Um, smart. So, um, if, if I could give any tips when it comes to the Last of Us multiplayer, I would say absolutely 100% stay close to your team. Even if that means playing with random people and they want to go in a direction you don't want to go in or go to an area that you don't want to go in and you want to go the opposite way, maybe to pick up some supplies or you think that the enemy team is running that way and you want to go try to like pick them off, go ahead and concede, go with them because if you go off on your own in the opposite direction of your teammates, you're most likely going to get gunned down by two, three, maybe four enemies and there's going to be no one there that's going to pick you up because uh, obviously they're not going with you your teammates aren't going with you and there's no one there to pick you up you're going to get executed and uh, it's just going to make you frustrated now if you are playing with your friends make sure you keep a open line of communication call out people there is a skill in this game that when you try to mark someone you cannot mark them because they have that skill on it's extremely important to go ahead and let people know that you're playing with your friends. Even if you have your mic on and you're playing with random people, go ahead and let them know uh, that there's a guy behind the truck, there's a guy going into that building, there's a guy running through the forest over there, a guy up on top of that rock. Whatever the case is, keep an open line of communication. Let your teammates know if you see an enemy and you cannot mark them. Just be a good teammate, be a good friend, and try to look out for your teammates. Ideally, you want to run as a pack at all times and, and keep the numbers in your favor. Most people that are playing do not do that. So stick with your team. Stick with your teammates. Stick right close to them. It's extremely important at all times to be right next to them. I can't tell you how many times I have seen people go off on their own and just end up getting killed because uh, they're not sticking close to their teammates. And you have to kind of go into it thinking like this. Each kill you give the enemy team, you're essentially making them stronger and making it more difficult for you to perform well in the match and win the match because um, every kill that you give the enemy team that gives them supplies that gives them those cans that they can pick up and it makes them stronger each death that your team inherits will will make their team that much more stronger so you have to kind of think of it that way and kind of slow your play style down and um, go into it just like just like what it is it's a survival video game slow everything down and go at your pace and not the other teams also not to mention when you are running as a team it makes it that much easier to revive teammates that get downed or heal teammates that are close by because when uh, let's say for example you get downed you are you are knocked down and you are able to get revived the more people that are reviving you at one time the faster you will get up and you will be revived that is extremely important in this game especially if you have uh, the reviver skill on where you can revive teammates faster. Now I will say that there is kind of like a one-sided advantage with The Last of Us multiplayer. One team, it does feel like they have a connection 
type advantage over the other team. Like, for example, we were playing on one map where I hit someone with the bow twice, and I went over and punched him three times, and it did not even down him. He was able to punch me twice. I was at full health, and obviously he was not at full health because I hit him twice with the bow, and both of my shots hit, and he killed me. My friends that were playing with me were like, that was just complete BS. You were just robbed, and you're going to notice things like that when it comes to The Last of Us. So keep that in mind, that sometimes, no matter what you do, no matter what skill you have, no matter what weapon you're using, you're just going to encounter those matches where that enemy team has like a connection advantage over you and it can be frustrating I understand that but uh, if, if you kind of know that going in it's kinda of like you can you know okay this is just one of those matches where you really can't do anything no matter what you have no matter what skills you have no matter what weapons you're using it's just one of those matches that it's just not gonna be working for you but as you can see the match is getting close to coming to an end thank you as always for watching your comments your ratings and your subscription it is always appreciated much love and I will see you guys in the next video later Down. Good to go. Keep breathing. I Keep got breathing. This. I got this. Well, I'm Keep glad you're covered. Few of these fuckers left. Uniforms are fucking done. Let's see if they try that again soon.